Hi, everybody. I'm Stephen Rose, a Senior Product Marketing Manager here at Microsoft and the host of Inside Microsoft Teams. Check out the link below and join us. I hear all the time from folks who get a chat or a Teams message and they go, what do I do if I'm not ready to deal with that right now? Too much information running through my brain. How can I make it easier to handle all this information coming at me? And I'm like, I am so glad that you asked because I have some really great tips and tricks for you on how to manage those and deal with those when you're ready to. Let's take a look. So here I have a message. Hey, when you get a few minutes, come back online. Can you review this document? Awesome. So the first thing I can do is now that I've read this, I can give it a thumbs up. I saw it, but I can also go in and say, I want to mark this message as unread. Now that goes as unread. So it says, hey, to the person who sent it to me, I saw it, but I'm gonna come back to it. I can also filter for all unread messages and this will pop up. That's one of the easiest ways to do it. But let's show you three more ways. Number two, I can click here and I can share to Outlook. If you're a person who tends to work in email more than you do in Teams or other apps, this one's gonna be really useful for you. So we see here, it's uh, what it's gonna do is it's gonna send it to myself. I'm gonna send it to myself here. So there we go, uh, great. And there is that message that I got. I can add some other notes to it, awesome. And I can just go ahead and send that. So that's gonna pop up in my inbox and that's gonna be a fresh email. I can click on that, it'll take me right to the conversation and now I'm good to go. You can of course create a task. Creating a task is super easy. So once again, I can go up here, I can say create task. And with tasks, you have a few more variables that's really, really nice. So I can choose where to create that. Uh, this is based on the Microsoft To Do app, which can be put into a team, or you can use it as a mobile app or an app uh, inside of Outlook. So I can say, this is due this week. This is a important priority, but you know what? I'm not gonna look at that until tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and add that task. And when I open up my mobile device or I'm in Outlook and I take a look at my to-dos, it's gonna be right there for me, which is great. Finally, the last way, and this is kind of cool if you feel a little more techy, is you can create a message flow. So what you can do here, and you can see here, delayed reply to a message. Now, one of the things that I do to make hybrid work better for all the people that I work with is if somebody sends me a message after five or six o'clock, I'll have it not my reply not send until the next morning at 7 a.m. What's great is I'm gonna go down here to create a new action. Now I've already created it and that's fine, but I'll show you how to do it. It's really easy. Go to create new action. It's gonna take you to our Microsoft Flow templates and there are tons. Follow up on a message, schedule a reply, save a message maybe to OneNote, schedule a meeting time from a message, add a planner task, show it in Yammer, tons of great ways that you can take this and you can drop this in. You can even work with other third-party apps outside of here. So we could pick follow up on a message. We could pick any one of those. Now, the one that I picked is a delayed reply to the message. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click that. Again, we're gonna pretend it's Friday at five. So I'm gonna say, you know what? I'm going to Monday uh, at 7 a.m. So we'll scroll down, we'll go to seven, all the way down to 7 a.m. And I will notify myself and this is posted so I don't forget and I'll say, thanks Jeannie. I will review this by end of day. I'm gonna go ahead and hit submit and that will send a delayed response so it's unread until Monday. It's gonna let her know I'm gonna do this Monday. And just to make sure I'm good, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna add that create a task. And I set it for Friday, but now I realize, you know what? I don't really need to do this till Monday so I can move it to Monday. So mark is unread, share an outlook, create a task, or even create a flow that's gonna automate all of this for you. All different ways where you can tame all those messages and get back to them when they make most sense for you and inside of the app that works best for you. To learn more about this and other great tips and tricks, A, check out the link below and like and subscribe because we have a lot more great stuff on this channel that's gonna help you to work better inside of Teams. I'm Stephen Rose, thanks for joining us and we'll see you soon.